Hi guys, I'm back. Um, honestly, I didn't know I was gonna be making another video, but here I am. I am making another video. I'm gonna briefly apologize if I'm like looking at myself throughout the whole video because this is not the first time I filmed this clip and I was like staring at myself, so I'm sorry. Um, but as you read in the title of the video, um, this is like what's in my bag. So I'm gonna start off with showing my bag and you probably saw it in the thumbnail, but I have a Neverfull. Um, I think this is the FM size, which is the medium size, not the super big one and not the very small one, which is the small one's actually really cute. Um, so yeah, don't know how much this retails for now because I know they went up in price because of inflation and I think they do it every so often because when I got it, I had a few people tell me that back in the day they would pay like 900 for it. And I was like, ooh, I would have three by that point because I didn't pay 900. Um, but yeah, if you want to know like how to take care of one, I am not the girl. Mm -mm. I toss this thing around like nobody's business and I don't really care. Because I mean, I'm the person if you, if I get something, it doesn't matter if it's expensive or not. Like I'm going to use it. Like I paid for it for it to use. And if I can't like toss it around or use it how it's supposed to be used, like why even have it? Like I'm not, I'm not the girl to baby something and have it unless it's like an Hermes Birkin. And that's a total different ballpark because like I've been wanting one forever um, and I'll probably baby that. But okay, Louis is luxury, but uh, I don't know. This thing, I just toss it around. I think it's super cute and I think it goes well with every single outfit I wear. So I don't, I don't know. I'm not your girl to be asking about stuff like that. So um, I'm going to start with like the basic stuff like everybody has. So I have a wallet and I have the Louis wallet. It's not, this bag doesn't come with a wallet or like a matching wallet where this one goes for this one. I know uh, Kate Spade does that sometimes. Um, I don't know which one this is called. It's not the really big one. The big one's like this big or something. Super cute. Um, I think this one like retailed for like $500. Um, just to give you a ballpark on how much Louis is if you're thinking of getting one, um, which this one's super cute because it matches the interior of my bag. I made that like a thing, like I wanted my wallet to match my purse. So wallet, super basic. Um, my bag's super basic too. I know a lot of people like, oh, I don't want to never fool because everybody has one. I'm like, everybody has one for a reason. Like you can throw shit in it. Um, I have a second wallet, which is weird, but I have an Apple... A magnetic wallet goes with your phone. Don't have my phone with me. It's charging in the room. Um, I have like the magnetic Apple wireless charger thing for the watch and the phone. So that's why it's not with me. Um, but this is where I carry my like card that I use for everything. And then my driver's license. So I can just throw this. Out. Like I don't have to carry my whole purse if I don't need to. So type of thing. Um, my key, so I have my key and the Louis Vuitton key pouch, I think that's what it's called, and my key, which I drive a Mustang, his name is Charlie, I love him to death, and I have a Apple AirTag in it, just because Ford doesn't have like a where's my key thing, and I need one of those, so here it is. Um, and then after that, I have AirPods. I feel like everybody has some type of headphones in their bag because, like, sometimes you just need to drown out everything around you. And I have it in this really cute case I got on Amazon. I think it was, like, under $10 or something. Um, and it's, like, a little pink cow print. Um, so, got that. Um, another basic thing I feel like everybody has is a pen. So, I put my name on it. I had, like, 50 of these. Clearly nobody really cared about the name. Um, it's black, basic for any legal thing. Now I do carry another pen and this one's pink and it actually writes pink. I don't know if you can see in the tip, but it's like actually pink. And this one's for like everything else that's not legal. So everything that's like funsies, um, I would write with this. 
just to leave my little signature mark, like it's pink. They're like, oh, Angel Avi. <laughs> um, some hand sanitizer. I feel like you can never go wrong. And mine's from Bath and Body Works. I think this is like a simple citrus, which I have like 20 of these in reserve. So it's just a hand sanitizer. And then lotion because Bath and Body Works, I don't think make anything that moisturizes or like doesn't dry out your hands. At the, like, does in fact and moisturize your hands at the same time. So, Aveeno's hand lotion. I love Aveeno. I think they're really good at keeping your hands moisturized. And this is just a daily moisturizing. And there's just dry skin, so nothing fancy. Um, gum. I think everybody carries gum. I have the Simply gum. Um, I don't know if anybody else has tried it. When I opened this, I was like, really rooted out because it's like weird um so like it looks like hamster food at first it tastes like hamster food which is weird um it's not super peppermint like you would think like every other brand is like oh my god in your face you're like can't breathe um because it's so pepperminty is that even a word um this one's weird it's super organic, great for the um, the world. Like, this is not going to create waste. Uh, so if you've ever wanted to try it, um, it's great. I don't love it. I'll be getting it again just because of how good for our environment it is. Also, it has this really weird thing. I've never seen other com companies do this. But it has, like, a little piece of paper here where, like, when you're done chewing your gum or like oh shit like you take it out of your mouth and you don't have anywhere else to toss it you literally stick it in this little piece of paper and like you're gonna shove it in your bag for a little while until you find a trash can so i love that just because i know i always find myself chewing gum that either has no flavor or i just need to spit it out because it's rude because i'm about to do a presentation type thing so simply gum um i recommend um Inhaler, um, I don't know if anybody else has asthma or asthma, like people would make fun of me. Um, but this thing, I use it more often than I would like to admit, but inhaler. Um, another thing I feel like every girl should have or some type of form of defense mechanism, pepper spray. Um, I used to have a bag organizer and I have like a spot where I would put this and I would just in and out. I could get it so I recommend this was a gift I don't know where they got this from I believe it was Target I think it's like in their um the lock section or like right behind automotive I don't know but I would get pepper spray um I have my own foot badges I only need one but I carry two on my back for some reason um, I have a to-go Tide Pod thing, or is that what it's called? To-go Tide Stick? I don't know. I'm a messy eater. I am a messy eater when it comes to, like, non-table setting eating, if that makes any sense. Like, if I'm in my car, or if I'm on the couch, or if I'm at work eating, like, I'm not really at a table and it's not, like, an actual proper setting. I will make a mess and this has been a lifesaver, just a heads up. So if you're a messy eater out there, it's okay, we can be like little frenzies. <laughs> um, my aunt had a wedding not too long ago and I was part of her wedding, um, bridal party. I was her maid of honor. It was such an honor, it was so much fun. And she gave us little cootie bags. And one of them was a, one of the things in there was this um, poopery, on like before you go spray so like the regular one so this is to go didn't know this existed and i'm so grateful she got me one of these because i'm like oh my god this is perfect for my purse like it's not too big it's not too heavy um having not to use it yet i am a stickler of not going to the bathroom in places that is not my home um obviously there's going to be a time where i'm just gonna be like oops i have to go now and my home is like an hour away so just in case. And she got my favorite scent. I don't know if we all got the same scent, but lavender. I don't know if you're a lavender girl, but I am. And I'm happy about this. 
um court uh court case i don't have i don't know why i have them on me i usually leave them at work but so happen to be with me right now um a random target card gift card which i don't know i get these all the time um eye drops because allergies are, are insane especially here in texas with all the um pollen and all that stuff right now it's summer so we're trying to go through the heat but i always keep eye drops just in case um this random altercation thing for my purse um chopstick um i'm really i've been really bad but the last chopstick that i had in my bag um i didn't lose it it actually um i actually finished it so that was great and i usually keep like a lip gloss or lipstick whatever i'm wearing that day right now i'm not wearing anything so pointless for me to have lipstick or lip gloss um i have the sun balm ocean mint cocoa balm um it's pretty good. My lips have been hydrated, um, despite the heat here in Texas, which currently right now is like 105, just FYI. Um, the only reason I got this, I never get this brand. I always get Burt Be Burt's Bees. I think I'm saying that correctly. I know a lot of people hate them. They're like, oh my God, they're like addictive. So like, if you stop using them, your lips are gonna be dry or whatever. Well, I got this because of the color. It was like so eye-catching. I was like, oh my God, I have to get it. So. I recommend, I guess. And I got that at Target, so. Simple Gum, Target. Sun Bum, Target. I don't know where they got this. Target. Um, Bath and Body Works. Target. Um, Butterfly pens. I got them at Target's like little arts and crafts section. Um, and then this Amazon. I mean, you can go to Target and get the AirPods, but the case was um, Amazon. Target, eye drops, ongoing trend. I only shop at Target. <laughs> um, I have a power bank, which I want to get the Apple's like little wireless one that like, sticks to the phones if you have a newer phone. Um, but for right now, I have this one. It charges my phone three times over and my Apple Watch. So it has like the newer plug for the newer chargers and then the this one for the older one, which that's what my Apple Watch charger plug is. Um, and I love it. I got this on Amazon. I think the brand is Anchor. And the only reason I got this one because it was white and I was like, oh my God, that's so pretty. Um, so power bank. I do have my charger and the actual cube with me at all times, um, but I don't have it with me. I left it in the room, plugged in on the wall because I was charging something else. Um, but they usually it's always in here and then the apple watch charger which i want to get like a shorter one um i have my regular one in my car so i have an apple pencil for my ipad which i actually store inside my purse as the bottom part so it doesn't droop because when you have things that are too full it droops which is not cute in my opinion um, like I said a little bit earlier, I used to have an organizer and the reason why I took off the organizer was because it would weigh down my bag so much. It was ridiculous. I literally felt like I was like holding a, a jug of milk, like on my shoulder. Like it was so heavy for no reason. And I had the same amount of stuff. It was just, the organizer was heavy, even though I was like a really weird material too. I didn't like it. It started getting like little pinky fuzzy things. Like, I don't know what it's called. When you have that sweater that gets those little lint balls, I had that everywhere. It looked so nasty. And I would wash it over and over again, but I still have that, so don't recommend. So this comes with a Louis bag. When you buy one, um, it comes in it. It's like supposed to be like, big, oh, like I don't need to carry my whole bag, so I'll just carry this. Um, so. In here, I have my iPad. So, iPad. And I don't know if I can show you. This is like the iPad mini, so it's like the little one. So, my hand, and I love it. I used to have the, the really big one, huge. Even for my purse, huge. Like it would fit in there, but it was like heavy, like it would weigh down, and I wanted something smaller this was the answer to my prayers and i got the pink one 
So like, I don't know if you can tell, that's pink and it's like super light. It's like a blush pink. I love it. And then I got it engraved with Angel on there, which is super cute. But that's what I carry inside this pouch. Um, I've been meaning to get like a protector for it, but I go rarely use it. So I'm not too worried about getting a protector on it. I did have a screen protector, but it ripped off. So don't have that on there anymore. And I use this as the thing to protect it from drooping because now it's right there, which I know I could get like a $20 hard thing at the bottom. So it won't droop, but why not just have my iPad be the, the bottom part of my purse? That's my um, solution to that. But yeah, um, I can put prices on everything that I carry in my bag, but I don't know if that's what y'all want to see. Um, I mean, I can do it, but um, honestly, I don't even know why I'm asking if I'm going to edit this and by the time you watch it, like, you can't answer. Um, but yeah, I will. Totally do that. Oh, before I forget, I'm like sitting here, like, yeah, whatever. Hold on. So, in my bag, I also carry bobby pens. Like, you can never carry so many bobby pens. I think these are like lifesavers for anything. Like, let's say you have your hair down. Oh shit, like it's so hot. Like, let me put something in my hair so like it doesn't in my face. Body pin. Oh God, like I don't like my hair down. Let me do like a half of half down. Bobby pin. Literally, bobby pins are like a lifesaver. So, also, I forgot to mention, this is a number full. So like, this is a regular number full, but I have it cinched on the sides and I have them cinched by this. Hold on. Let me remove it. And I got this at Am on Amazon too. So oop. it's this little chain uh, lock thing. So and it comes with a key. And it's so cute. It has a heart too. And this is what cinches my bag. So that's what a regular number four looks without it being cinched. And then this is with the lock. Um, I usually just have it cinched just because my mentality is if you're carrying it and like if it's not cinched, there's so much space someone could put like their hand and like take something. And when it's cinched, it's really hard because it's cinched in there. Um, and if I'm pretty sure everybody knows. The only locking mechanism of this bag is this little clasp, which I it doesn't do anything for me. Which also I learned this. Hold on. I was watching YouTube videos before um, this video just to see like how I would do it, and obviously didn't follow any of the patterns that they did because mine looks like a hot mess. But never fool this middle thing you literally hook all these and you clasp them together hold on and then you have this like you can cinch it this way too and i don't know what that's supposed to do but that's like another way some other people do it which is really cool and like i guess it adds more protection down here I don't particularly like how that looks, but hey, if that's your style, go for it, right? <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna like remove this because this is obviously insane. <sighs> okay. okay. Let me put all this stuff back in here. Oh my mumbo jumbo but if y'all have any like 
suggestions with like bag organizers. Like right now, let me show you how my bag looks without cinching up. This is my bag. I mean, it's still pretty heavy, but like, see how it doesn't like droop? It does a little bit on the sides though. So like if you have any suggestions on like, I don't know. I want to put like a pouch thing in the inside, but then it, that's just putting a bag inside a bag and just creating a mess. Cause like inside the bag, there's going to be a mess of things. I don't know. I mean, this is difficult to go through. Um, don't get me wrong. Um, sometimes really fucking annoying. I'm like cinching him though. I used to carry snacks in here and they would only last a day. I don't know about y'all, but I'm like an anxious eater, but like not, oh my God, I need like a whole like McDonald's meal or anything. Um, I'm more of like eat a little bit here, eat a little bit there and then I get full, which also is not very healthy, but hey, that's how I would do it. Um, so, oops. See, and then it's cinched. My back's not, oh God. Doggy's barking. Titus, Titus. He stopped. Great. But I think I'm gonna end the video now because I uh, don't know where this is gonna go. I don't know how I'm gonna edit this because this seemed like a very pointless video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if this was like very all over the place. Like you didn't really get much out of it. Um, subscribe hit that bell notification if you want to hear from me again <laughs> i don't blame you if you don't um okay that concludes the video thank you so much for watching guys it means a lot um if you have any video suggestions just let me know um i know what's in my bag was a suggestion that y'all gave me i just thought that y'all would like it um it is one of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you want me to do anything else, just let me know. I know I've been told um, to do another mukbang, but actually do a mukbang and not me just eating my lunch. Um, which, they're right, that wasn't a mukbang and we can all agree to that. And that is Bruce drinking water. Um, but yeah, thank you so much guys. I'll see y'all in the next one.